So this is just a little bit of an expansion on what I was talking about in the last video I did, which was my type part eight, um, still ESFP. Um, spoiler alert, still think I'm ESFP, it's only been a few minutes. But um, this is just gonna be called ESFP fixations. And um, essentially this is coming from a combination of mostly just like looking at um, a ESFP as an Enneagram 8-4 using tri-type adjacent nomenclature. So with the 8, it's about being invulnerable or in control of, invulnerable, invulnerable or in control of themselves and their environment uh, and protecting themselves and others. Um, and then with the 4, and this is coming from Enneagram 8 is being extroverted sensation, which I've talked about in another video, and Enneagram 4 being introverted feeling from an MBTI perspective. Also talked about in another video. But with um, Enneagram 4, it's more about uh, self-knowledge or self-understanding. And the primary concern I had when I was younger was my own mortality, which does fit with the self-protection, self-preservation stuff. Some people would say, oh, that's self-pres instinct Enneagram, but I'm just looking at like Enneagram Institute definitions of the fixations from the different uh, Enneagram types. So essentially with an ESFP, uh, the first thing that they're going to be concerned about is like, oh crap, I'm going to die, or oh crap, I need to protect myself, oh crap, I need to be healthy, I need to be fit, essentially, strong, capable. And in that vein, I was doing sports, martial arts specifically, um, but also basketball and soccer and track and field and cross country. Uh, my physical fitness was probably my main hobby, I guess, or interest outside of academics, which I have to kind of just put on its own category because everybody went to school, you know, so. Secondly, once the ESFP gets into their, I guess, second quarter of life, um, you're probably going to end up seeing more of an introspective bent in their behavior, which is what I've observed in myself. Uh, essentially that when you get into that second quarter, your introverted feeling's gonna pop up and you're gonna be like, wait, who am I? Why do I do what I do? I don't understand myself at all. And it's like, and then if you're like me, you'll be like, wait, but wasn't I doing all of this athletic, like active physical stuff before? Where is this coming from? And you have to figure that out for like a few years. Then you'll be like, oh yeah, it's coming on ESFP. So yeah, those are like the ESFP fixations that I've observed in myself. Just the first one being self-preservation, self-protection second one being introspection and self-knowledge and uh yeah that's all i got